The quickest aero bike in the world won't go you very far if you can't tolerate the weight and discomfort of riding it. The good news is that modern aero bikes have extremely low weight and provide a ride quality that is suitable for both long days in the saddle and sprint finishes. How much quicker would aero be if we talked? Do aero bikes have the ability to ascend? Make sure that you subscribe to Cycling News Live so you don't miss the video in which we answer all of your questions. So let's get started right away without further ado. The year 2023 is right around the corner, so let's take a look at the best aero bikes right now available. S-Works Venge In exchange for reduced drag numbers, early aero machines had to deal with increasing gram quantities. Certainly not in this Venge. The frame weighs only 960 grams, but Specialized claims it's the most aerodynamic Venge to date. The huge 58cm aero carbon wheels are only 64mm deep, and the entire bike weighs just 7.56kg. Indeed, that is remarkable. The S-Works specification is the same. Ceramic speed bearings facilitate smooth rotation of the CLX64 rooms. These wheels feature a distinctive 26mm width and spread closer to 22mm when shod with the soft S-Works cotton turbo tires. The wheels themselves have a broad 21mm internal size. The drivetrain is the top-of-the-line wireless system from SRAM and Red AXS which delivers flawless performance. Use the corresponding app to fine-tune AXS to your specific needs. One of the best saddles available today, the shot design power rests on the Venge-specific carbon seat spot. More specifically, it's the Flyweight Carbon S-Works variant which offers all the comfort of the power design while shedding unnecessary weight. This bike may be the epitome of value for money at its price point of £9,750. Cannondale System 6 High Mod Dura Ace Die 2 the System 6 comes in at its lowest pricing point in the test group with a price tag of €10,499. Nonetheless, the term cheap does not do justice to this price point. Still, it's a good deal considering what you receive. A Power 2 Max NG Eco Power Meter is built into the frame and the lightweight in-house hologram SIS L2 cranks are part of the Shimano Dura Ace Di2 R9170 disc group set. Double-sided power measuring and temperature adjustment from tried and true technology handcrafted in Germany. It connects with any GPS receiver or smartphone with Ant Plus or Bluetooth technology. Cannondale's aero design calls for very narrow 23mm Victoria Rubino speed tires to be pre-mounted on the tubeless ready 64mm deep and 32mm wide hologram KN0264 wheels. The speed release mechanism is a great feature of these wheels because it allows you to take off a wheel without having to take the axle entirely out of the bike. When you've had some experience under your belt, you'll be able to swap tires as swiftly as a pros. Merida Reactor Team The Reactor is one of the cleanest looking bikes we tested thanks to its seamless design and one-piece Vision Metron 5D ACR cock. Even though the frame is black throughout, it is anything but dull thanks to the combination of glossy and matte surfaces. The 7.69 pound size M bicycle's stealthy appearance is ruined only by the bold branding and graphics on the vision parts. The price of the series bike is a reasonable €10,349. The price of the 32mm Continental GP5000 TL tires is €149.8 and the price of the series 25mm tires is likely to be free if you swap them out at the dealer. The fitted frame bag costs €54.95. Euros. Cervelo S5 Engineers and designers at Cervelo didn't want to draw too much attention to the new bike, so they kept their work a secret from the public. The new S5 is an improvement over its predecessor, with the primary goal of making the already fast bike easier to ride for the average consumer. Slight modifications have been made, such as deeper frame section, a new fork to streamline the front end, and more tire clearance. The new S5 from Cervelo will be available in four different construction options, each with its own price tag. Shimano Dura Ace £12,500, Shimano Ultegra Di2 £9,199, SRAM Red Access £12,999 and SRAM Force AXS £9,599. All of the models come with either a black or a sapphire white pair of the brand new Reserve 5263 wheels. The US and AU prices are currently being finalized. Canyon Air Road CFR Disc Di2 These bikes are optimized for riding on paved roads where the tires never lose traction. In most cases, these are triathlon or time trial bicycles designed for speed, having either racing handlebars or standard bars for the rider. 
As a general rule, a rider, their gear, and their bicycle shouldn't weigh more than 120 kilograms. The maximum weight that can be safely handled in some situations may be further constrained by the specifications set forth by the component manufacturers. Bikes that have proven themselves on the cyclocross and gravel circuits with racing handlebars and cantilever or these bikes are particularly great for gravel roads and off-road trails where the occasional 15 to 20 cm step or stair might cause a momentary loss of tire contact with the ground. There is also a 9.199 euro price tag. Drek Madone SLR9 Disc No longer is it a matter of debate that disc brakes aren't aero enough to race on. Tell that to the growing list of Tour de France stage winners who have sprinted to victory on disc brake equipped bikes. Do that to Mads Peterson's bike on which he won the world championship. Trek's top aerodynamic option is the Madone SLR9 disc. The 700 series OCLV carbon frame of the SLR9 disc is adjustable via an ISO speed, allowing for varying degrees of frame compliance. By incorporating this technology, the bike may be adjusted to the rider's preferences and the terrain. High-end components such as the Shimano Dura Ace Die 2 group set, flat mount hydraulic disc brakes, Bontrager Aeolus Triple X 6 carbon wheels, and a Madone specific seat post, headset, and handlebar are all included. Models can be found between $6,000 and $12,000. Scott Foil RC Ultimate Bike This is the Swift Company's third attempt at an aero race bike, and it's called the Scott Foil RC. It promises a 20% increase in speed, a 10% increase in comfort, and a 9% weight savings here, without sacrificing the stiffness virtually every race bike requires. Even though the holy trinity of bike design improvements has long been a goal for any bike brand, our first impression suggested that the new foil RC might be on the right track to becoming a top speed machine. Look 795 Blade RS the Look brand has been around since 1984, but clipless road pedals are what brought the firm widespread recognition. While Bernard Hinault and Greg Lemond rode for the La Vie Claire team in the 1980s, the company became well known. The 2019 Look 795 Blade RS disc is a homage to the first bike that debuted, the new iconic Mondrain color scheme. In 2015, Look unveiled the pinnacle aero road bike model, the 795 Aero Lite. Reviewers praised the Aerolite, but consumers were less enthusiastic with its deep integration. Taking a peek at the Blade RS, comfortable, aerodynamically optimized, disc-equipped road bikes are becoming increasingly popular, and this year, Look has joined the fray. The 2019 795 Blade RS disc is a practical cycle with exceptional performance. The 795 Blade RS is available from Look with a variety of different brake types and parts. We put quite a lot of time and effort into the $4,000 disc frame set, SRAM Red AXS components, Vision Metron 55 SL disc wheels, a Velo Angle glide seat, Look ADH2 handlebars, and fabric knurl bar tape complete this bike. BMC Time Machine Road 01 The BMC Time Machine Road 01 3 is the entry level model of the Aero Road bike produced by the Swiss company. Time Machine Road 01 was initially released in the middle of 2018 and is touted to be BMC's quickest road frame set due to its carefully fitted elements and emphasis on speed and stability. In spite of the fact that tests show it can slice through the air with surprising ease, its slow steering and stiff suspension make it an unpleasant bike to ride on the rocky and winding roads of southwest England. The BMC Time Machine Road 013 is not an easy sell, what with its heavy weight and high price, in less forgiving regions. Orbia Orca Aero M10 ILTD When you add it all up, Orbia did a terrific job modernizing its aero road bike. The design gave careful consideration to both efficiency and usability, resulting in a winning combination. The Orca Aero is a bike that we would love to possess because it's very adjustable, with features on par with those of a typical road cycle. Although we weren't huge fans of the Aero Bottle, the storage box was a welcome addition and proved to be quite useful. However, you might find the Aero Bottle to be more useful than we did if you plan on using the bike for time trials or triathlons. Tell us which of the bikes you like the most in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this.